Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use color resources. Before we begin, I would like to talk about colors. Android uses the RGB color model to represent colors. The RGB color model has three color channels, red, green, and blue color channel. And when you combine these three different color channels, that is red, green, and blue with different intensities, you can produce a lot of different colors. And RGB colors are uh, usually represented using hex codes. This color selected here has a hex code of 087278. There are six digits, two digits for each and every color channel. That means the first pair of uh, hex digits, that is 08, represent the red color channel. The next pair of uh, hex digits 72 represents the green color channel and the last pair of digits which is 78 represents the blue color channel. In this project we are going to use two colors red and green. The first color red uh, I'm going to call this apple red. This has a color code of F72525 in which F7 represents the red color channel. 25 the green color channel and the next pair of digits which is 25 represents the blue color channel and we also have another color which I'm going to call as money green and this has a hex code of 58 for the red channel 9c for the green channel and 24 for the blue channel I'm using a online color picker to choose my colors also, uh, you can find color pickers or color palettes in a lot of different softwares. Photoshop has one. You can find one in Microsoft uh, Paint. And there are also other standard word processing softwares that come with color palettes from where you can choose the hex color when you need it. Let's get back to Eclipse and use these colors in our project. This is the same project that we used for our multiple language support application. The text are all black. Let's go ahead and give it some color. To create a color resource, go to your values folder, right click on it, go to new, Android XML file. You get the new Android XML file dialog and make sure you select the resource type values and the project is the project you are currently working on and for the file name use colors.xml make sure the root element is resources and click on finish now we have a colors.xml file we are going to edit it click on the colors.xml tab and here you can see the xml we are going to add two color resources color we are going to name the first one as apple red it has a hex value of hash F7 2525. Likewise, we're going to create another color resource with the name Money Green. With the hex value of hash 589C24. So these are the two color resources that we are going to use in our project. Let's go back to main.xml and here we can see two text views. We are going to change the text color of these text views. I am going to make the larger one look red and the smaller one look green. First I am going to show you how to change the color of a text view from XML. You can see there is a property called as text color in the property sheet click on it and type at the rate of color slash apple red so if you want to access a color from xml you have to use at the rate of color slash the name of your color resource that was easy it's the same as we do with strings for strings you use at the rate of string slash your resource name for colors you use at the rate of color slash the color name and 
this text we are going to change it using our java code i'm going to go back to so my source folder and from my package i'm going to select the main activity.java you can see we already have a reference to the summary text view which is the smaller text i'm going to change the color of this summary text view so let's type summary dot set text color and here there is an integer that asks for the color normally with text you can use the resource identifier directly that is you can specify r dot string dot title that will fetch you the title string resource but you can't do that with color if you want to fetch your color resource you have to use the resources instance so we're going to use this resources instance and we're going to get the color resource to do that type resources dot get color and here give the color resource identifier which is r dot color dot money green save the program and now we are going to run this application on our emulator select your project and click on run let's wait until the emulator shows up here it is let me unlock the lock screen and here we have our application with different colors the first text color was changed using XML and the second text color, the smaller one, was changed using Java code. And in this video, I showed you how to create new color resources and access them from your XML and Java code. Thank you.